Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my favorite things ever. I like to do these videos um, when I'm basically just overflowing and bursting with things I have to show you guys because I never like to like force it and just show something that's not quite a favorite. Like everything I'm about to show you is a hardcore favorite. So I have a lot to dive into, beauty, skincare, makeup, food, household. We're gonna discuss my shower situation finally because I've been taking the most amazing showers and there's a lot to dive into. So let's go, um, starting with this. I have been making Thai tea at home. If you guys ever had Thai iced tea like at a restaurant, it is so good. But when I get it at a restaurant, I'm like dubious because sometimes they use sweetened condensed milk, sometimes they use half and half. I think they must use a ton of sugar because it's really sweet. Um, and I decided to start making it at home so I knew exactly what was in it and it is so good, so good. I'll have to show you in an upcoming video. Hopefully this doesn't turn my teeth orange <laughs> during this video. I'm drinking this with a stainless steel straw, by the way. It's more environmentally friendly. And especially with a tea like this, I don't wanna get it on my teeth if I can help. But I have the tea leaves to show you. It's really simple to make at home. And I use almond milk so that, you know, there's not as much bad stuff in there. Um, you don't even have to sweeten it. Honestly, the tea tastes really good. So I guess I'll show you that first. This is the Thai tea mix I got. I just got it on Amazon. And it's just a giant bag of loose leaf tea. And it's so good. It smells so good. It's really easy to brew. I'm loving it. It's like my new favorite little snack and treat. Then I have two other kinds of tea that I'm also obsessing over. And they're both from this Tazo Dessert Delights line. This one really stole my heart, glazed lemon loaf. And it tastes exactly like it says. It is like sugary and sweet and just delightful. It really fixes a sweet tooth for me. And then this one's also really nice, vanilla bean macaron. I love, love vanilla. Look at the pretty pink bags. <laughs> because that matters. Okay, I have to segue from this tea, the lemon glazed, to this candle, lemon sugar cookie. I was telling the girls on my Patreon live stream about this because uh, they go together so well in my mind. They're both like sugary lemon things, which I never considered myself to be into, but I guess I'm a certified lemon sugar addict. This candle smells amazing. They picked this up for me for my birthday. Like I said in my other video, it honestly smells a bit like Pledge, the cleaning product, so take that for what you will, but I love it. He got it at Ralph's, which I think is the same thing as Kroger. If you have that grocery store, I went back to the grocery store and I bought it out, um, which means I'm hoarding like three extra candles, but it was on sale for like $6.99. Like, what a deal. This, this smells so good. Um, on the other end of the price spectrum, this candle, I almost need a moment of silence for just how special this candle is. It smells so good. It's Jo Malone, so her candles are just always absolutely life-changingly good. But this one is called Sweet Almond and Macaroon. Like, I, I just need a moment with this candle, so <laughs> sorry, please, please wait. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, almond is one of my big, big favorite scents. Like, I love almond, vanilla, sometimes lavender, but I don't know, almond and vanilla especially, and so this really is so good. Also, almond macarons are one of my favorite desserts if I'm ever allowing myself such decadence treats, but this candle is honestly as good as a dessert. It's as good as a treat. I use this candle to motivate myself because I want to like treasure it and make it last. <laughs> so I don't just burn it like all day, every day. Um, I burn it if I earn it. Just realized that rhymes. But truly I will motivate myself like after my workout, I can burn my candle. And so think outside the box with what you can reward yourself for good behavior with. You don't have to always reward yourself with like food or shopping. Okay. Then onto a couple other household things. Have you guys ever used these Velcro hanging strips? I'm loving these. It's a damage-free way to hang things. You don't have to make a hole in your wall. And like, who knew this was a thing? I, I learned about it from the fly lady. She's my guru on household stuff. 
So like I got this beautiful painting from Nate, which is honestly a favorite, although it's kind of not fair because I can't link to this in the description. But he made me this beautiful painting and it's on just a wooden heart. So there was, you know, there's no way to hang it. But these little Velcro strips make it so simple to hang. And you just put the strip on, you put the other strip on the wall, and then when you're done with it, it pulls off damage free. So I don't have to worry about messing up this treasure, this work of art, and I don't have to mess up our apartment walls. So these are great. And a couple, okay, kind of segueing from household into technology a little bit. One of my recent videos I showed, you guys noticed that my phone situation switched up and I feel like we have to discuss. I still have my old iPhone 6 Plus, but this case is Goyard inspired. As far as I know, they don't actually make phone cases. I got this on Etsy, honestly, a couple years ago. And I don't know if you can still find it if they maybe like crack down on things that we're using to print. I haven't seen it since, but I do love it. It's a bright pink. And then this is actually not a pop socket. I have no idea if I'm using this right. Maybe you guys can tell me. I was in the checkout line for Staples and in the 99 cent area, they had this adorable donut. So I immediately purchased it because I love donuts. <laughs> not to eat, but for cuteness levels. <laughs> I actually really don't like donuts, but this pink donut was just calling to me. And I think this is what you do with it. It's a suction cup. It just sticks to your phone. And then I just use it like a pop socket. Like it holds my phone in place really easily and I love it. And then the nice thing about it, unlike a pop socket, you can just detach it if you don't want it for you know the day so it fits in your pocket or whatever. It's so convenient. So cute, such a good way to hold your phone. And maybe I'll be able to find it online, but if not, staples, 99 cents, can't beat that. Couple other tech things. I got this Apple Watch charging station. If you don't have an Apple Watch, Fast forward 10 seconds, but this thing, if you do have an Apple Watch, is life changing. I'm, I'm being a little bit dramatic, but honestly, I was so excited to do this video because almost everything we're talking about today has changed my life recently. So if you have the Apple Watch, it's designed where the charger goes on the back, and at night when it's laying flat and charging, the um, time shows like sideways as if it were an alarm clock. And then the screen goes to sleep, but if you even just like lightly tap your bedside table or whatever it's on, then the time comes back on. I love that feature, like I wake up a lot in the night and I always wanna know what time it is, but you don't want an alarm clock that's like blasting you with light all night. So I love that I can just like gently tap my bedside table and it immediately tells me the time. But it was kind of like falling all over and not working well. Well, enter this little plastic doohickey and you insert your charger into it. You can see the cable just goes through here. This little white part is the actual charger. And it just holds the Apple Watch perfectly in place. And it sits on my bedside table and it's cute and it's pink and I can see the time in the night and they sell like $100 Apple Watch charging devices. This is literally just a hunk of plastic that you insert your charger into. It was cheap, it was on Amazon, and I really like that setup. Okay, here's something that's not cheap that I finally splurged on, and I have no regrets, but I got the Apple AirPod wireless headphones. Ah, it's like when you open the case, it goes like that. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> they are so pretty. Honestly, I feel like Apple could have done better than this floss packaging. Like, I don't know, why does it look like floss? But I love these headphones. I did not understand what all the hype could possibly be about. I actually think they look a little bit silly when they're in your ear, especially on guys. It almost looks like an earring. <laughs> but they truly have changed my world, changed my workouts, changed everything. <laughs> they're amazing. They know when they're in your ears. So as soon as you put it in, it senses. As soon as you take it out, it senses. It stops playing the music. I think I might have to do a whole review video on these, but really, really amazing, really life-changing. They connect so seamlessly. Like as soon as you open this case, they connect to your phone. I don't have any issues with them falling out. I think the battery charge lasts really well. Workouts are next level. I honestly showered with these last night. I don't know if that's advisable, because they're not technically waterproof, but I kind of think they are waterproof. They're amazing. So, so good. I, I think I'll do a whole video if you guys are interested. Okay, then one other technology related thing. I have told you before, I often read phone, read books on my phone using the Kindle app right there. And 
I really like the convenience of just having my books with me constantly if I'm in line somewhere. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through Facebook, I try to make it a habit to read my books. So I love that, but it just went so much next level because I learned certain books on Kindle come with the audiobook. And I also love listening to audiobooks. And the thing that kind of, and sometimes I want to do both, like listen and read, because you know, there's, so, there's something about curling up with a book and reading, but then there's something about like working out and being read too in your earbuds. And I always had to have separate books, like one audiobook and one regular book. Well, apparently certain Kindle books come with the audio packaged in, and it's incredible because right here in the Kindle app, Stumble may prevent a fall. You can listen to it. Safeguards. So right now, oh, now I gotta pause it. Um, this is read by the author and it's so convenient. And my favorite thing is Kindle knows where I left off. So I could listen on my workout, get 30 minutes farther into the book, then tomorrow I pick it up and I wanna actually read it and it's already gone exactly to the page where I left off on the audio version. Like, amazing. As a book lover, as a reader, I'm so happy. I feel like this is going to make it possible for me to read so much faster and enjoy reading so much more and get so much more out of it. I feel like I retain more if I listen and read sometimes. So I'm just really, really excited about this. And while we're at it, I have to talk about this book, even though I'm not done with it, I genuinely feel like it's going to be an all time favorite. So we need to discuss, but this is better than before by Gretchen Rubin. She wrote The Happiness Project, which is a book I also read that's about like ways to be more happy. And to be totally honest, that book didn't really resonate with me for whatever reason. I think I'm already really happy um, and I didn't struggle with some of the stuff in that book. But this one hits home for me in so many ways. It's about habit formation, which is a topic that really fascinates me, a topic I really struggle with. And wow, just wow, it's so good. It's so well written. It's so well researched and I love her tone and her style. And I've just learned so much about myself from reading this book because she really, I think she did some like groundbreaking <laughs> discoveries about different types of people. And if you know what type of person you are, then you know how to like manipulate yourself to your own advantage um, to make lasting habits. So maybe we'll do a whole book review book club on that book when I'm finished with it. But I can tell you right now, it's so good. Let's see how far in I am. I'm like exactly halfway through it right now. And I already know I'm just gonna read it again when I finish, it's so good. All right, let's switch into some beauty stuff. Here's a sheet mask I'm loving. This is from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. I really enjoy their beauty products and they are so cheap. I believe this mask was $1.50, like just doesn't get much better than that. It has vitamin C and E in it. And what I really love is it has a little neck wrap Maybe I can show you this in my next vlog because it's pretty terrifying, but it it covers everything. And you know, just turned 33. I'm always like a little more aware of more problem areas the older I get. And so I love that this mask addresses like everything from like the boobs up. It's just, it covers you so fully and it's so affordable. So I love that. Then let's talk perfume. It's so beautiful. It's by Guerlain and I should have known they would have amazing perfumes. <sighs> it just sent like warm chills down my spine. I should have known they'd have amazing perfumes because all of their makeup smells amazing. When I'm putting on a lipstick by them, it just like wafts up to my nose and it smells so good. But anyway, this perfume is called Terracotta and it has, I was just looking up the notes and it's like a textbook Charlotte perfume because it has vanilla and musk, which I love, but it also has floral notes, which I love. And the ones that it has are like orange blossom and jasmine. And if you watch my perfume video over and over and over, those come up for me because I'm so drawn to those scents and this perfume does not disappoint. And there's something about getting a new perfume that's so enlivening, like so invigorating. I feel like I get really acclimated to the smells of my perfume to the point where I can't smell them. So when I get a new perfume, it's so refreshing because I can smell it throughout the day, just tiny little hints of it. And you feel like a new woman when you put a new perfume on, like just treat yourself if you feel like you're in a slump and get a perfume. If you want a more budget option, I have that for you as well. This is by Kristen S. So she's a hairstylist who has a line 
at Target and I am living for her line. And this perfume is a little bit hard to find. It was like out of stock at all of my Targets, but I found it on Amazon. So I'll link it for you, but it smells so good. And what I love about her is all of her products, if I'm not mistaken, they seem to have the same scent. Like they all work together, which thank you. Like, thank you, Kristen S. Why don't more companies do that? Like Glossier, I love the smell of their body wash, but it's completely different from their perfume, per different from their lotion. And then I feel like by the end of the time I've used all those products, it's a cacophony of smells. So what I like about Kristen S is my hair smells the same way, like my perfume smells, like it all goes together really well. I am flinging around purple shampoo. <laughs> so this is the other thing I want to talk about from her. Like I said, I'm loving all her products, but this purple shampoo is especially special. Cute bottle, right? Like so cute and really nice, deep pigmented purple shampoo. If you have blonde hair, this will help get rid of any brassy orange tones. I feel like mine has toned pretty nicely with this and it's not too dry. It's just, it's everything I want in a purple shampoo. It's a really good price point. I saw some buzz about this drugstore foundation and how it's a good dupe for Clinique. I think Ali said Dallas was talking about that. So I was like, I ran, I did not walk to purchase this foundation because I love the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. It's my favorite. It's actually a decent price point. It's like in the $27 range, I think. So it's not that bad for higher end foundations. But this one by Revolution, Conceal and Define, you can tell by the packaging it's in the same vein. This is like half the price. It has a really, really nice applicator. I would like to never touch foundation again with my fingers, like just bleh. So I love when they have an applicator I can use. I'm wearing it right now, so you can decide for yourself how you feel about the coverage and everything. But I think this is just a really beautiful, really nice foundation. Very happy to have another drugstore foundation I love. Other drugstore products. This, is it NYX or N NYX? I really should know that like as a YouTuber. I always say NYX, but I like their butter glosses. This one is in the color Eclair. I think I need to freshen it up. It's just like a fun, bright pop of pink. It's not too sticky and it's nicely pigmented, so I love that lip gloss. Then I also enjoy a good lip exfoliator, especially while it's so dry in the winter right now. So this one's by e.l.f., which is another drugstore option, and it basically just looks like a lipstick, and I love it. It's very creamy and it has very, very tiny grains in it. So you just put it on and like mush your lips together and then wipe it off and it exfoliates them and leaves them like hydrated and like ready for lipstick and looking good. And I think it's a really great alternative to this one I have by Tarte, which is called Lip Facial. And this one I did not love as much. It's like more of a crayon than a lipstick, which is just harder to apply. And it's drier and I feel like the grains are bigger and therefore like harsher. So I'm loving this one. This was a gift and then I repurchased it once I used it up. So that's good stuff. And then the last like skincare type thing I want to talk about is this Zit Pin by Glossier. Isn't it so cute? I love pink and red together. Um, if you've read my beauty guide, you know I have some very specific opinions on how to deal with zits. I don't think we should mess with our zits. I think we should let them run their course. But I had to try this zit stick because I love Glossier and it actually really has not disappointed me. I zapped a couple of zits that were popping up and it didn't dry me out. So. Love it, I love that it. it's so cute on my counter. That's a win. Okay, so, oh wait, two clothing items. I recently watched the new Wreck-It Ralph movie and I was posting on Instagram, I thought it was adorable because it had all the princesses in it and they were animated. You guys know I'm a Disney nut. So in the movie, the princesses get to wear like sweatpants and like cute sweats, comfy outfits. I thought that was so much fun and adorable. And Cinderella has this sweatshirt which has the carriage and it says, G2G, got to go. I just thought that was so cute. And obviously I had to have it, so I found this at a Hot Topic, but I think you can get this a few different places if you want to lounge around like a princess. And I guess speaking of loungewear, I want to share my favorite leggings. So these are probably covered in dog hair, but they're clean. <laughs> and I was always a Victoria's Secret legging girl. I'm really tall, so I need leggings that come in a tall option. It's like, I hate having those really short cut off leggings. 
and I feel very strongly that my leggings must have pockets. So, like, how could I function without pockets? <laughs> Especially if I'm on like a workout and I have, I'm on a run, I have my keys with me and stuff like that. Or if I'm just walking my dogs, like, real question, where do you put your phone and your keys if you don't have pockets? Because I'm not gonna bring my purse when I walk my dogs. So, anyway, I'm like uncompromising on that. But the Victoria's Secret leggings are like 50, 60 bucks a pop. And there are some clothing items I will pay that much for, but leggings really just aren't one of them. Like, I don't feel like leggings should be that expensive. <laughs> so, cause you know, you just wear them like casually. So anyway, I found these on Amazon. They're by the brand Bayleaf. And they work so well as a dupe for the Victoria's Secret. Like they're not shiny, they're not see-through, and they have pockets. The pocket hits about mid thigh on the side. It's not flattering to add any bulk there, let me tell you, but I just like, I have to be able to bring my phone and my keys sometimes, so it's worth it to me. They are a good length. So if you have the opposite problem of me where your leggings are usually too long, I don't know if this would be a good brand for you because they don't say tall sizing, they just are longer leggings. So <laughs> loving those. Okay, I need to power through my shower recommendations for you really quick. I talked about this in another video, but basically I started getting to a point where I was dreading showering <laughs> and I was like, am I depressed? Like what's wrong with me? Whenever I have something in my life that's not working for me, whether it's like how I plan or how I shower or how I make my coffee in the morning, I like to sit down, just be curious with myself, why am I not liking this thing and brainstorm what's wrong. <laughs> so I know that sounds a little bit odd, but it just really helps to kind of, sometimes we just ignore what's bothering us because we're used to that in everyday life you just power through but the thing is like you should enjoy showering it should be a pleasant part of your day so when I really thought about it it's so petty but I don't like being cold and wet I'm like a cat like I like to be warm and curled up in the sunshine so that was honestly even though I live in Los Angeles and it's not a cold place I didn't like getting out of my shower and being cold um, little stuff like I have a lot of hair it's really long and it wouldn't fit under my shower cap and it was always like coming out or my bun was like too tall for my shower cap um I didn't have a good way to listen to music in the shower little things like that I was tired by the time I got to shower little things like that started to really bother me so I made over my whole shower experience and I'm going to quickly show you first of all I used the Tangle teaser brush to brush out my hair in the shower it specifically works really well on wet hair and when I condition it I brush it out and that made washing my hair so much better because I don't get out of the shower with a tangly mess it's like already all perfect and look how cute this is this is from Ulta so that's one thing another thing is I got this extra large extra granny shower cap I don't believe in washing my hair too much so this thing is actually huge I don't know if you can tell but it fits all of my hair and then some and it really does look granny fabulous but I embrace that and that has helped just not to have to wrestle with my shower cap every time why did I feel the need to put that on <laughs> like you guys know what a shower cap looks like okay then as far as coming out of the shower cold again I know this is so whiny of me because I live in like a warm climate but I got this terry cloth pink of course robe so this is basically the same exact material as a towel so when I get out of the shower instead of wrapping up in a towel that you know that's always kind of like not covering everything and then whatever's out of the towel is cold <laughs> so I just put this on and it's like a big towel for my whole body my arms goes all the way around me and I feel so much warmer and like it dries me as it warms me and to take it one extra step I have this towel warmer that I got on Amazon so it's just like a little rack that can be plugged in in your bathroom I put my towel on it I put my robe on it while I'm showering and by the time I get out there toasty and warm and it's like having it like fresh out of the dryer like it feels so good my mom used to do that for me when I was a kid so it's like a really really sweet cared for kind of feeling and you deserve to have that for yourself you don't have to have somebody else to do that for you the last special shower experience change is that I also got a stool one of these like beautiful Japanese wood stools these stools can actually get kind of expensive. I honestly just picked the cheapest one on Amazon. It folds up when you're not using it, but when you are in the shower at the end of a long day, because I'm now a nighttime shower with all these changes, it's so relaxing to just sit down on the stool while you shave your legs or whatever. I mean, it's the ultimate 
comfort. And then when I'm in the bath, I put it next to me as a um, like side table. So it has a lot of uses and I'm loving it. And the last thing I did was also get a shower curtain that you can put your devices in. So I didn't want to bring my whole shower curtain in here. but Basically it's the clear liner shower curtain, the one that goes inside the shower with you. And on the outside of the shower side, it has pockets that fit iPads, phones, all sorts of different devices. So I put my phone in, it's on the outside of the shower, so it's completely safe and dry. You can see the screen, you can touch it through the plastic, I guess. And you can also hear it really well. So I just listen to music on my phone in the shower that way. If I get a call, I can like see it or I can even text or add something to my to-do list if I think of it. I really like having my phone that accessible. So between all of those changes, I now can safely say showering is like a high point of my day, which it should be for all of us, right? And so basic human necessities can be fun if we take the time to find out how to make them into our favorite. So that is all of my favorites that I have to share today. I feel like it was a lot. I hope you got some good ideas. Like I said, I really think you all deserve to pamper yourselves as much as you can and hopefully get some budget options for that, some higher end options for that. So hit subscribe to see everything that I have in store for you on this channel. I can't wait to share more with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll say hi in the comments. I'll see you in my next one. And I guess that's it for now. So you all are my true favorites. Thank you so much. See you later.